Hi, good afternoon. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm Linda. Welcome back to our kitchen. We're making, uh, we're actually fixing supper. We're yeah. making uh, chicken and rice. Oh, that sounds so good, Linda. Oh, Mama used to make this, Mary. We, I know. We both know. almost said it yeah. at the same time. Cause, um, yeah, we love chicken and rice because that brings us back memories. Yes, it of does. Back whenever uh, we were growing up, we had a lot of chicken and rice. So I'm going to just tell you what I've done. We've cooked the chicken. I cooked five chicken breasts. I um, cooked them in a quick cooker. Um, you do not have to use a quick cooker or Instapot or whatever you've got. You can boil them in a in a pot. You can uh, yeah. whatever you want to do. And um, um, we cooked you it cook? for 18 minutes. Yeah, 18 minutes on the cooker. Now, that was six breads, chicken breads? It was breasts? five, five, five. Okay, breasts. Five and we got those breasts. cooling. We're going to shred them in a bit. So we got... Um, we took our chicken out, and then we strained the broth, and then we put the broth back in here, and we've got a total of eight cups of broth in here. We're going to That's after in. the chicken's been done. After it's been done. Yeah. Um, and if you're using a quick cooker to, um, and I'm speaking of this quick cooker because this is what I'm familiar with. I had about four cups of water and about two cups of broth that I cooked the chicken in when I strained it because, you know, the water goes down. I had four cups, and then I added four cups. So a total of eight cups of broth is in this pot. Um, it is seasoned. It has salt and pepper in it. We'll check that a little bit later to make sure we've got enough. So, um, Mary, you're going right. to... I'm going to open this uh, uh, cream of chicken soup. Aren't you going to use chicken? Yeah, we're going to do a, use a big can of cream of chicken, and, we'll, and Mary's going to whisk that in. But right now, I'm going to get the rice started. Okay. And uh, I've got... Um, Four cups of water in the micro cooker, and this is what I'm going to cook the rice in. I'm cooking it in the microwave. So I'm cooking two cups of rice, and this is uncooked rice. So because some of them are going to ask, this is going to make a lot of rice. We know that, but we're making a big pot of creamy chicken. I mean, of uh, creamy uh, chicken and rice. So we're going to get this started, um, and we are going to salt the water. I mean, go all the way around with that. <laughs> I didn't think that was loose, but I. I've done it too quick. So I'm going to put probably about, oh, I don't know, half a teaspoon of salt in here. We want some salt in it, but we do have salt in the broth too. This has got a little snap down lid that we're going to put on here that has air vents in it. So, um, oh, that doesn't look like that opened that, Linda. It didn't. Uh, I, could, I could tell why it's, why, I don't know if I didn't catch it good enough or what. I don't, I don't know either. Well, you can use electric if you want to. Okay, so I got my pot here with the lid on it, and the, the handles just snapped together. I've never snapped had one to not catch it before. This pan is, I mean, this uh, uh, can of soup is bigger. It's a big can. So, yes, you can on? just, that may not be plugged in because I have the cooker. So, unplug right. the bottom one. Okay. I don't know why that is. I think that, that, I don't know, it's too deep, you know, it, it it's a big can. It could have been, I don't know. I've never opened a big can with it. I hadn't either. But I guess, but we, I wonder, yeah, I wonder if that's really what, what And this is. is, um, what ounce is that, Mary? That's a big, big um, can, though. It's, uh, 22.6 ounce of creamy chicken soup that she's putting in here. And we use the health food class. You don't have to. You can use regular creamy chicken, but that's what we use at our house. I don't know why I couldn't get that open. I never... I don't know. I've never uh, opened a large can like I'm this. I'm going to try it with a large can at another time, but we don't want to take up any more time trying to figure that out. We'll do that later. It's a, it's the way that lid, that top lid was put on. It was yeah. deeper than normal. Stir it in there and get all that. Yeah, do you, do you rinse your cans out? <laughs> yes. <laughs> my, most people don't, though. Do you? you I do. Them? Yeah, I rinse I them out. I usually rinse my bit. pan. My, um, um, oh, I probably just put like maybe yeah, like four just, cup of water in yeah. just to rinse it out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to whisk. And you want to whisk this cream of chicken in this broth so it'll get smooth. I, I usually just swish it around. <laughs> And then I just take a whisk. Well, here, I put the trash over oh, here. Oh, I, I just set it over here. Okay. And then I just... Now, this is already salted. You've already got salt in it, um, I do have salt in the broth, but we'll taste okay. it. 
Uh, it's probably going to need some more salt added to we're it. We're going to put some pepper yeah. in it. Yeah, okay. we're going to put some um, some of this good pepper in it. And I, you mm -hmm. put the rice in the microwave for how long? I'm cooking it four minutes at okay. a time. Okay. I'm going to cook you it can probably put some pepper four minutes. In it. And okay. Yeah, we're going to grind some uh, fresh peppercorns in here. And that pepper that fresh, so ooh, don't you smell that? Yeah, that peppercorn. Might use some of this the other night. Yeah. My goodness, Linda, that pepper is strong. Of course, it ain't never going to be too strong for me. <laughs> But that smells so good. I can smell that pepper over here. So instead of dirty in another pot, we're just using the same pot that we cooked the chicken in because mm -hmm. um, this is so versatile that you can uh, you can do anything in it and it will start um, it will start boiling very quickly. Yeah. So uh, when you so where do you put it on on sear? And when you put it on sear, um, we did start, didn't we? Didn't we hit start? I didn't. I think we did. Yeah, it's already okay. Okay. Um, when you um when you want to boil something you put it on sear. Now this also acts as a quick cooker. We have a glass lid that goes on this that you can do. It has 16 settings. So um and there's um a few more days that this is still on sale. Oh it's twenty five percent off until, oh, that's the, right. until the end of the that. month. I, um, I cannot say enough about this quick cooker. It is when I before I used it the first time, I was so skeptical. I said there is no way that this is going to cook any different than my Cousinart, and not no, you know, no reflection on the Cousinart or any other brands. But we had trouble with them. Yeah, you know, we we would cook something and it wasn't done. We'd have to recook it. The tops yeah. wouldn't go on right sometimes. Did did you yeah, have trouble yeah. with that? Yeah, I had to reset it. Yeah, I did. This one here, the first time I used it. I was absolutely amazed, and I have been in love with it ever since then. And uh, uh, the fact that you can do so many things with it from sear to proof bread dough. So it has 16 settings, and it has a, a dial turn. And uh, you can get all kinds of little neat accessories with this. But the only thing that I've actually used is a ceramic pot. Is that right? Yeah, I've is never right? used any of the other, yeah. but I've used this all the time. I'm going to check my rice. Okay. I know it's not done, but I'm still going to check it. Um, and I've never, I've never cooked in those, Linda. Uh, these are, uh, these come in a set of three, and this is the big one here. Um, it is um, a little different than the other two. The lids go, um, the lid goes on that one. Um, the, the handles pop up. Oh, okay. The other two, you actually turn them and they okay. they lock in. Okay. But, uh, there's a three quart, a two quart, and a one quart, and those are really, really neat little. A, a neat little set of things that we use a lot. Yeah, I haven't used mine. I have a set, but I just hadn't used it. Mike is um, probably would be considered a minimalist. I'm not. I want everything I can get, <laughs> get that I can get. But Mike is not. And <laughs> I got so much stuff in my kitchen. I'm gonna have to do a, a sure enough makeover. I got to wear. Um, <laughs> We're going to be getting some things together and send, and take it to a um, yeah. to a ladies' uh, homeless shelter. Is yeah, what we're going well, to that's doing. good. Um, well, I'm I I I'm not sure where I'm taking mine. Um, there's a um, thing called Hope's Closet. Yeah, and they, that's, and that's they a have, really good yeah, organization. They help uh, ladies that are have been abused. And so they I, actually I probably, resell their they stuff. Resell, they resell they resell their do, stuff. The proceeds and, go right, to that. Right. But so. um, for Mike to like something. It's a good item. Yeah. He loves these little cookers. He loves them. Um, I accidentally overcooked something in the little small one one day, and it did ruin it. But he didn't like the way it looked, so I had to order <laughs> another one to replace it. He said, "You ruined." He likes my everything to look brand new all the <laughs> you time. You ruined my That's little my. cooker. <laughs> so I, I ordered another one for him to replace it. I just can't get over what a pretty day it is. Isn't it though? I'm just looking out the window, and it's so nice out there. It is. And Mary, um, we we need to mention again about that. We still have a very short list of people who have not received their cookbooks from, from last year. From last year. 2020. Uh, 12-9, December the 9th, was a day uh, that so many... Um, All of them hung up were, somewhere. Um, either, either lost in transition or they show they're in transition. We have already sent... Uh, recent... recent several of those books we think the others are going to show yeah. up but we've got we, i think we we just looked at them and we've uh -huh. got nine left but we're down to nine people who have that, not received um, their book has not year. been sent and we're, we're going in the process of getting those resent yeah 
and um, we are we're just um, we're it's just a shame. Hey, the postmaster told me I, at the post office they said that they it was ridiculous at the packages that was mailed in December that people have still not gotten. And uh, Mike actually had a bill uh, that he mailed that wasn't received, and I repaid it. I went online and repaid it because they hadn't received it. We're going to do a stop payment on the check. But um, um, and and I'm not I'm not dissing the post office. I know those workers it's work December. so hard. But it was just it was we just won't a be bad shipping. Time. I hadn't discussed this with Linda, but the postmaster told us if we were going to ship anything, to not ship it in December. I think I think what we're going to have to offer next year in the fall or this year in the fall. I think we're going to make sure everything is gone November. before Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes. So we're not having to spend our right. entire five or six weeks wondering where these these things are. But we did the best we can. We've learned a lot. So. Um, you know, I think that um, I guess you're never too old to learn, and that's you know yeah. we have we we keep learning. So this is almost ready to boil, Mary. You can okay. see it's almost okay. fixed to the boil. And um, well, you know, Linda, um, I went to that attended that funeral the other day. My cousin, our, cousin, yeah. our first cousin, passed away, and the funeral was in Nacogdoches, and it just brought back so many memories. I, I wished I'd have had time to have just went back and went drove down the road where I grew up and but it was raining it was raining getting late four o'clock in the evening and I didn't but every time I go to Nacogdoches I want to go back and go through yeah. all yeah. I want to retrack all the times that we walked up and down that hill and and uh and just reminisce yeah it's I never go to Nacogdoches that I don't want to go by what used to be our home, it's right. not there anymore. Well, I so. said Nacogdoches, that the funeral was in Nacogdoches, but it wasn't. It was in Lufkin. It was, the funeral was in Lufkin, but you, of course you go through Nacogdoches to get there. You, where do you want to check? Uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's, not, it's not done yet, but it's um, it's getting done. We, we need to move the camera over there so we can get okay. the, the chickens right. ready. Okay, I don't know. Did you did you even show them? The, did you show them the bowl that, that that rice was in? Did we even show them? Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Sure. So now we're gonna. Uh, we had promised y'all that um, we would show y'all. Oh, we got to be on the. the yeah, chicken. We got to shred the chicken. chicken. Okay. Let's get. Let's get okay, the so chicken. I'm gonna wash my hands and we're gonna right. move the camera over All right. There. I'll move the camera. And, uh, do you want a knife, Mary, or do you think we can just pull it? Apart I just pull it. My part in my hands, Linda. So we've got a lot of chicken here, and when uh, when I'm doing something like this. Um, I usually try to do um, one chicken breast per person, and that might sound like a lot, but if you consider that I'm touching this with stuff so I don't have to go back and wash my hands again, um, if you consider that that is your protein for the meal, then one chicken breast is, is just about oh, what yeah. you need. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's and plenty. And if you want to do thighs, you can do thighs. Um, I'll wash my hands. Probably... I probably wouldn't do legs because there's not as, enough, enough, as much yeah, meat on a leg. Yeah. But you can do chicken breasts or chicken thighs. And this is something funny. Uh, I probably shouldn't say this, but the other day when we were doing a video, I think when you was making chicken spaghetti, you said yeah. chicken parts. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> somebody thought we went, we, we met necks and, and um, I don't know what else. Gives when, I, when I said that, I thought, well, it's not chicken parts, but you know, sometimes I get my words mixed Chicken up. pieces. Chicken, I mean, it, yeah. it didn't. It, it didn't sound funny to us, but I think I yeah, think some people. I thought, knew, I knew when I when I said it that, that I didn't mean any kind of chicken. And I'm just going to make sure that there's not any little fat or yeah. anything in here, because if there's any in there, Mike will find it. Yeah, and I'm going to make sure I there's know. not any uh, gristle or anything or whatever else. Right. In here, this is a lot of meat. It is, and and if it if you thought it was too much, you could always save some out to make chicken salad for the next sure, day. Sure, sure. Um, we love chicken salad. We love ham salad. We love tuna salad, and um, we make ours. Uh, we put um, we put apple in it. We and your chicken salad, apple, yeah, chicken yeah. salad or tuna yeah. salad so, or ham and, salad. And, and a lot of people use these grapes. Grapes yeah. is great in um, in chicken salad. We're going to be having some insulated bowls. Uh, Pepper Chef is pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. Insulated we're going to the summer. We're going to uh, be uh, showing y'all those. And 
They actually Does have two sets. They, I'm sorry, Mary. That's okay. They have insulated, and then they have the cool and serve, too. Yeah, that's right. So the insulated keeps it hot, and the cool and serve keeps them cool. Yeah. There's a lady at our church. Uh, she makes the best chicken salad. Oh, I she love chicken salad. She just makes such a good chicken salad. I haven't ever asked her for the recipe, but I've been tempted to uh, because it so good it was she picked some two uh, some chicken salad sandwiches for a funeral one time our church cooks for funerals that are from uh, for the family that's in our that's in our church we cook a meal for the family and uh, she had brought some chicken salad sandwiches and they were so delicious mama always made chicken salad and mm -hmm. ham salad she yeah. made a lot of ham yeah, salad she, did. Yeah, she, she did. would cut it up uh, uh, in, her, in her blender mm -hmm. or in her cuisinart and she would make really good ham yeah. salad. Sometimes we'll um, dice up some celery and put in ours. You're not a celery person. No, but not. Um, But sometimes we'll want a crunch in it, and apple gives you a crunch. I love texture. I like apple and in my tuna. I do too. Do you put it in your chicken? I don't cook. I, I don't think I've ever put apple in my chicken, Linda. I don't think I have. Uh, uh, I, I, I make like more it. tuna salad than I do chicken yeah, salad. I like, I like tuna. Uh, and I'll tell you something else I put in my tuna is I chop up a jalapeno pepper. And I know well, you don't like that either. No, I wouldn't I love do that. jalapeno pepper in my tuna. I wouldn't do that either. I think I'd drop the piece of something, Linda. Oh, you'll probably find it. Oh, I don't know about that. Blame it on me, Mike. <laughs> it, it, my, I, it wasn't gristle or nothing. It was just... Uh, I think it was a little bit of, you know, how that st the chicken that uh, gets stuck, yeah. it's the, from the broth, I guess. But I'm it, sure it's fine. It wasn't a gristle. Okay. It was just a... Now, I've cooked this eight minutes. It's still got just a little bit of liquid in it. Um, I'm going to cook it probably another minute. I, I cook it, you say you cooked it eight minutes? Yes. It would probably be 10 minutes, Linda. I, just, I mean, all the total I'm talking about. So two, yeah, we'll cook it two, two more. more. Yeah, okay. That sounds about right. I never cook my uh, rice in the microwave. I always just cook it on top of the stove, and once it comes to a boil, I'll cook it 20 minutes. And Yeah, you cook rice on I top just, of the stove 20 minutes, and I cook it like that. But on the microwave, it should be shorter, so I think at least 10 that's kind of what I was thinking. That's too, what about, you're thinking about half time. Okay. All we right. Got our, um, we got our um, chicken uh, broth over here. Okay. Started and it's All right. not rolling boil, but it's it's starting to boil. Okay. I'm gonna put this up, throw this away, and uh, I guess you. Yeah. Just throw that away. And we'll put this, uh, put the chicken in there and put the rice in there and we're going to taste it to see about the seasoning. You want me to move the camera? Yeah, I guess we'll move the camera back over here. And, um, let's see if you taste the chicken. And see why? Taste the chicken, um, and see. To me, it needs the chicken, needs a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Yeah. So let me get this camera back over here. You can always add more but you can't take away. There are ways to to um, if you do uh, get it too salty or if you happen the salt shaker lids off and you happen to dump salt in it <laughs> My and you can't get it out. Like that. <laughs> you can um, put an Irish potato um, in there and boil it and, and it, that'll yeah. absorb some yeah. of it. Yeah. If you remember Mike, Mary, when, when we're growing up there's Today there's, I was thinking about this the other day, today there's Yukon goals, there's purple potatoes, red potatoes, bacon potatoes, yeah, there's all kinds of potatoes. potatoes. When we grew up, it was Irish potatoes. Yeah, just potatoes. <laughs> and sweet potatoes. That's yeah, what it was. There's two right. kinds of potatoes, sweet yeah. potatoes and Irish potatoes. Yeah. And for those, those of y'all that don't understand me, I'm saying Irish potatoes. <laughs> we call them Irish potatoes, but that's what they call them, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's what they call them. So um, you can go ahead and... Um, Put some chicken, chicken in there. Or do you think we should put the rice in first? Well, I don't reckon it really matters. I don't think it does. Okay. And so, you put salt in your rice. I did put salt in the rice. Mm -hmm. The rice is 
Rice yeah. is good. Okay. So, um, I think I'm just going to. You want to show them the rice? She cooked it in the microwave. Whoops. Back up a little bit. It's smoking. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, don't yeah. it? I don't buy everything organic. This rice is organic, but whoo, that's hot. That's going to be a pot. <laughs> Whoa. I hope y'all are hungry. Oh my goodness, it sure does smell good. It's almost like a, this is almost, it's, it, it's going to be nearly like a soup, chicken and rice soup, isn't it, Linda? Yeah. Um, we don't like it, Linda and I don't like as much soup. We like ours a little bit thicker. But um, some people like it, yeah, with a lot of I, juice in it. Linda, have you ever made chicken and rice in the oven? That's no, how I, make I it. haven't, but I, I've seen it. That's done, how but I, I, have, I, that's how I make, make it. This. It's basically the same thing, but you cook, put your rice in there raw and put all the other ingredients and put your chicken, lay your chicken in there, and uh, and it thickens up as it bakes in the oven and your rice cooks. Y'all can't see this pot, but it is it is boiling good, isn't yeah. it, Mary? Mm -hmm. Let me, let me, you want me to show them the picture yeah and you can you can put the chicken in there since i done got my hands on this p p camera this is a big pot of chicken and rice it's gonna be full that's for sure now i want you to well I will. here stir it yeah and i'm gonna see if you think i need to put the rest of this chicken in there you think i need the rest of yep. it okay or at least some. And we can, I'll just put it all in there. Um, and we can, all, you can always add more broth to this it's, um, if it needs it. Because it's going to thicken after yeah. it sets. Yeah, it's going to it thicken will. up. And um, we'll get a spoon out and taste it for seasoning in a minute. Doesn't that look good? And then we're going to. Well, I'm um, trying to hold the camera. I'm sorry, Mary. That's I'm okay. Not, That's not okay. helping any. Um, all right, let's get a spoon and taste it. All right. And see. We're going we're gonna to let it simmer just a little bit. That is a pot full of chicken rice. Oh, no. I want to get a little bit of rice in it. It I'm won't gonna... uh, thicken up too much, though, will it? I don't know. You taste of it, too. See what you think. I know it's good. I mean, I think it needs salt and okay. needs more pepper. Okay. And the rice is not crunchy. It's um, it's done. It's just not overdone. It's good. It's good. Don't it you think it needs, needs more salt? pepper? Yeah, it needs pepper for sure. You can put some more salt in it. It won't be too salty, but you know, I don't put a lot of salt in my food. The only way that I make sure that I don't oversalt is to measure. And this is a half a tablespoon, but I'm not going to put a whole half a tablespoon. I'm going to put about a half of a half a tablespoon. That won't make it too salty. Okay. No. Because Mike does not like You just salt salted. and pepper it according to your yeah. preference. You taste it and then I... And we're going to put more of this. For that pepper. pepper. Yeah, yeah, that pepper. Really... Good pepper. You see how fat, how this boils? Yeah, I mean, it just, I know. It boils, really. I, I don't want to get it too hot. For you. All right. Well, we're going to let it uh, sit a little bit while we undo the... Yeah, we're just going to let it... It'll. The timer's on for 15 minutes. After then, it's going to go into warm mode. So, um, it's not going to... I don't okay. know if we'll even cook it 15 minutes or not. But okay. we'll go over there and uh, take out our granola bars. Yeah, we, we did that. We today. we did those uh, granola bars this mm -hmm. morning. So we want to show y'all. We haven't taken them out of the the little um, snack bar set yet. So we're gonna show y'all how nice they look. I'm gonna bring them over here. Yeah, I'll bring them over there. I don't even think we're going to need this a little um, spatula. spatula. I don't think so. This either. comes with the set yeah. here. But I think these are silicone. I think you can just pop them right out. Yeah. Isn't that nice? They're nice and cold. They're nice and cold and firm. And they're firm. 
and these can be um, a I wrap. I like this, Linda. Wrap real good. Yeah. And, um, you know, I know there's a lot of kids and adults, too, that have allergies. But if your kids don't have any allergies, this would be something excellent yeah. to take to school for a snack, would. wouldn't it? Yes, it would. And you know what? It, it looks like that they can make up their own recipe of what they want in it. They might not want all these ingredients in it. No, they might not. And they, you might rather have walnuts than almonds. Um, we like all kinds of nuts, but um, and if you have kids with uh, nut allergies, leave the nuts out. Yeah. Maybe you want to use raisins instead of dates. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe um, uh, maybe you want to use some dried mango or some dried um, pineapple or something. You could use that. And I want to get this one here and cut this and let's see. I this, like just a taste of one of these. This was, now these are a little darker. A little darker than than uh, they could be because we put it we put the chocolate in yeah, there while it was still warm. They're not it's, overcooked. It's it's right. because of the chocolate, right? right. So uh, and then you she just put the rest of this in here and um, in a pan hole without these little pans, and yeah, uh, so. and she just cutting it with the knife. So if you don't have the pan, yeah, if you don't have the pans, you can just put it in a. A loaf uh, pan. I'm being very careful with this knife. Yes. This is an extremely sharp knife. And I didn't want to cut it on the Let camera. Let me move this so you can see. See? See? You can just cut it in little bars. You can cut it as big or as yeah, little as you want. Yeah. I see and that. That's a little bit harder to get off of that foil than it was out of that pan. Right. It? Yeah. Even the little pans we, makes it just pop right it, out. But... This is yeah. not silicone, it's full. But we got it out. Yeah. Good. So there you go. Let's yeah. You want to taste it? I sure do. I'll, I'll, I'll see what they taste of. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Mmm, that date's good. Mm hmm Very good. Very good. That's a great snack. It is great. I'm telling They're not you, not even overly sweet, are they? No, no. And honestly, it, you could cut that in two. You could cut this in two because I can tell with that first bite I took that it's very filling. So probably half of that would be a nice little snack it, for me. I don't know if I could eat a whole one or not. I was afraid the chocolate was going to overpower it. It's really good. But that cherry really is good. Have you? Did you yeah. get a cherry? I hadn't got a cherry, but it's it's a very good, a very good granola bar. Very good. I'm gonna have to write your recipe down, and you'll put the. You, have yeah. you already posted? I have recipe? not posted it. I'm sorry, Mary. That's okay. That away That's okay. From I'm gonna say this because I want to eat me some chicken and rice. No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't posted it, but I will. Okay. Now that chicken and rice should be ready, shouldn't it, Linda? Yep. I'm gonna take this up. Okay, I'm gonna move this, and, and we're gonna get us up a bowl. And you want crackers? Um. So, um, <clears throat> but you don't have to get the crackles out now. <clears throat> Remember how Mama used to pick up something in both hands and have her hands full? <laughs> now I didn't have a trouble picking up the plates and the bowls, but that'd be some things I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust myself picking up in both hands now. I have to be careful too. I was just thinking about this morning that there's. So many things that, uh, as you, you know, get older, that um, you can't, um, it takes you longer to do, and and it's just uh, more of a task. Now, what are you going to do? Oh, you're just I'm gonna just going to ladle up. us up. So. All right. I mean, I, and I'm going to turn this off. Oh, I would, too. That it's, it's done. So, you can cook your chicken, and um, I'm going to turn this off. I'm just going to ladle us up. And then, like she said, you can just... Um, Add you some cream of chicken soup, and we use a lot of we use a lot of cream of chicken soup, don't we, Linda? We do. I use awesome. a lot in my in my cooking at home. I use a lot of cheese, all kinds of cheeses, and um, um, cream of chicken soup. I buy the cream of chicken soup of the case because well, I use a lot of it. Linda, I wasn't paying any attention. I don't want that much. <laughs> I can't. Lunch. I know I haven't had lunch, but still, I I can't eat a big old bowl. 
What do you Bring want? it over here. Which one do you get for me? It looks to me like we got about the same in each. Choose whichever one you want. Okay, I've got the cooker turned off. <coughs> I'll get us a spoon. I'll do a taste Thank test. you. You might as well get the pepper. Because you yeah. know you're going to want some pepper. Looks very good. Let me let me get the camera a little closer so they can see after you dished it up. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely want some pepper. Do you want extra salt or no? No, I'm fine with the salt. See, doesn't that look good? It del looks delicious. It's gonna I know look it better is. when I get this on it. <laughs> you more pepper. You want some on yours? I won't put a little bit, but okay, it's, I'll let you do it. You, so you um, too much. we used to say Linda eats some. Um, uh, potatoes with her with her cat with her black pepper. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, really and all you followers, we love y'all. Thank y'all for following us. And Thank watching you us. for spending the day, all, almost the day, with us two videos. But we love y'all. We appreciate y'all taking up y'all's time yes. to watch us. We love you, and we'll we get these you. recipes posted. Hope y'all have a wonderful evening. Uh, bye. bye. bye.